Hi, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, and today we are at Huckfest 2012 in North Jackson, Ohio. And uh, as you can see, this is mainly a hardcore 3D giant scale event. We have Aaron Bates here, and Aaron Bates is a gentleman that is responsible for taking me to the next level on 3D planes because you hooked me up with a 3D hobby shop uh, extra. Happy to and do that. It's been fun ever since, and he he's also like a weird mastermind of weird, crazy contraptions. What did you do? I have uh, recently modified one of our 50cc uh, extra 330s. I've uh, basically invented that uh, asymmetrical air brake maneuvering, which is like I basically put an air brake out on each wingtip, and I'll see if I can do some fun aerobatics with it. Basically, you did, you did some crazy things with the rudder too. What did you do there? Uh, basically, the I well, the idea behind the air brakes is to have uh, really absurd your your control, and if I can flip the plane in your manner, babe, but with the fin in front of the rudder, that that would stop that momentum. Okay. So I basically wanted to, wanted to remove that side. It took away the vertical stability or the tracking stability. On. Yeah, the the the, the static part of that component, and then tried to make the rudder bigger to make up for that. So I'm keeping you from the maiden, aren't I? Yeah, pretty much. All right, let's go ahead and we'll get, get to it. Let's go over and get it. Say that. Well, he's got state-of-the-art stealth technology on his fin. It's totally invisible to radar and to the naked eye. And I think he said the guns are loaded. Well, he got it up, got it down, and it definitely seems like the air brakes had some great benefits. It's probably more on the waterfalls and components like that than the pinwheel like he was desiring, but uh, let's see what he thinks about it. Well, Aaron, my friend Josh Scott says any airplane that has weird baffly air drag things that lands on the beach and you walk away with is a good thing. Yeah. So, brother, you did a good thing. Well, yeah, thank you. What's your take on it? Uh, this has a fair amount of work to do, but there's things to try out to clean up a lot of the I think that shows promise. And, and your pitch control was really good, huh? It had awesome pitch control. You know, my elevator extensions, the rudder. 
rudder setup wasn't creating some adverse coupling. It wasn't really wild. It just had awesome rudder authority, so I'm happy really. So you just need a little bit of work on why this causes the roll issue, huh? Yeah. Very yeah. good. Very good. Yeah. Basically the only issue, so, so the brakes were working properly, but when I was in knife edge and then I activated the brake, it was actually rolling flat while while going around and I also have to give practice the actual input, so it's also a thumb problem. So. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, it's, it's pretty done amazing, and also you moved your counterbalances inward. Added the counterbalances to to uh, take advantage of the prop wash. Okay. So the idea is that, that while in hover, I should be able to roll against torque and stuff like that. You may find that just you're like going a for a developing one thing, but you created something else that's going to be on every plane with Oh, well, I was just trying to... Literally, the whole the whole thing about this plane was I had a list of ideas, and I was doing the whole list of ideas under this airframe. Nice. nice. So, we did a good job, and Josh got the love to go. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Appreciate yeah, it. Anytime. Right. Well, friends, there you go. Crazy things happening at Huckfest 2012, and uh, Aaron Bates from 3D Hobby Shop has uh, definitely brought a lot of crazy ideas, put them all in one airplane, and got it back in one piece, which is amazing. So I uh, want to thank you for watching. want to thank 3D Hobby Shop and Aaron Bates for letting us uh, check this out. Also, want to challenge you to watch uh, playtest.com. Lots of new features coming up on that website every day. Also, a lot of great articles. And please don't forget to rate. Now, get kind of loud.